compassion for each other and unconditional love will follow. Believe in each other, support each other's dreams. Remember to dream together. Always give more than you think the other needs. Say I love you and thank you every day. Trust, respect, and appreciate each other. Be spontaneous, be fun, be romantic. Stand together, but let there be space in your togetherness. Know when to listen, to talk, to feel with your heart. Apologize always. Forgive and forget. It makes life much easier. Work together, play together, pray together. Allow God to be the foundation of your marriage. You have been chosen. You have been chosen for each other. It is his plan. With each passing year, you will grow closer together, drawing strength from one another, and the two shall become one. You will be blessed with the greatest happiness in life, to love and be loved. Now, having said all that, would you please face each other and take your hands as you say your vows. Nick, would you repeat after me, please? Tracy, today, I become your husband and you become my wife. I will strive to give you the best of myself while accepting the way you are. I promise to respect you as a whole person with your own interest, desire, and to realize that sometimes those are but that's not I promise to keep myself open to you. To let you in my innermost fears and feelings. I promise to grow along with you. Willing to face challenges as we both change. Keeping our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise to love in good times and in bad with all that I have to give and all that I have completely and forever. Nicholas, today I become your wife and you become my husband. I promise to strive to give you the best of myself while accepting you the way you are. I promise to respect you as a whole, a whole person, with your own interests and desires, and, and to realize that those are sometimes different than my own. Is that important. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow along with you, to be willing to change, to face change as we both face. Keeping our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise it wasn't good times and bad. And with all that I have to give, and all that I am, completely and forever. May I have the ring?
and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side, that I always be a faithful partner. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Let it be a reminder that I'm always by your side and that I will always be a faithful partner to you. One more prayer. Father, I thank you for Nicholas and Tracy. I thank you for the love that you've given them one to another. I ask, Father, that you would bless their marriage and each day they would grow more and more in love that they can look back on this day and say, I love you more than I did the day we married. Bless them, bless their future, bless their family and their, their um, friends, Father, here gathered today. And we ask this all in the name of your son. Amen. And because Nicholas and Tracy have desired each other in marriage and have witnessed this before God in our gathering, and have pledged their love and faith to each other, sealing their vows in the giving and receiving of rings by the authority of the gospel of Jesus Christ and according to the laws of the state of New Jersey, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. To present to everyone here, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Lanza. Yeah.